Fallout is the best show on TV right now. Look, look, I'm ready for this take to age horribly. I'm ready in about a month to make a video apologizing, being like, what was I talking about? But right now, after watching season one, it's my favorite show on TV. Sue me. It's that good. Look, I, I'm not some biased Fallout fan. I never touched any of the games, haven't played a single one. But, I mean, did you watch what I just saw? That show was insane. If any of you guys haven't watched the Fallout show because you're worried, like you were like me, and haven't played the games, you don't need to. The plot and the characters in the show are completely new, and not from any of the previous games. The show just simply uses the universe and the world from the games. So yeah, I mean, I honestly don't even know why I like watched the show to begin with. I'm not a Fallout fan. Some of the cast members I was definitely interested in. I was like shocked to to know that A, Christopher Nolan has a brother and B, that he was directing episodes. So that kind of intrigued me too. Also, I mean, Ella Purnell, there's, there's that too. Anyways, for whatever reason, I gave it a shot and I'm so happy that I did. So let me take one step back. For those of you that don't know, the Fallout universe basically takes place in a world where nuclear war has destroyed the planet. So everything above ground is a wasteland. It's a wild west. It's like lawless, people constantly vying for power. And then underground, you have these like vault dwellers who are oblivious to what's going on above the surface. Obviously, it's way more complex than that, but I'm avoiding spoilers for right now. So that's kind of the premise. And like, yeah, that's cool. I I'm intrigued. I would watch a show about that. But it's nothing that like warrants the best show on TV right now. The show just, it's firing across the board on all cylinders. I think what I like the most about the show is that it just creates their own kind of genre. What I mean is it's got like the boys level of maturity and like violence, but then it's got its completely own sense of humor and it likes to have fun. It's got plenty of mystery. I think Severance and like Lost are like really good comparisons, especially with the stuff going on in the vaults. Like that's, I can just see Severance. The score is awesome. It's a complete vibe. For whatever reason in the Fallout universe, the technology is like extremely advanced. They've got flying planes, they've got these underground vaults, they've got like infinite energy with like fusion cores. They've got these like Iron Man suits, but yet culturally they're still in the 1960s. So that means all the music is from then and like all the television sets are like black and white, which I think is such a cool contrast. So you've constantly got this kind of music playing, which is awesome. And then the characters I love, it basically does what The Last of Us did, where they introduce all these side characters that are in it for about an episode or two, but they're all so compassionate, and you just want to know more about them. And then the lead characters are awesome. Maximus, I'm still on the fence about. I don't know how I feel about him fully yet. He he does have some hilarious moments, though, and some awesome character growth. The protagonist, though- My name is Lucy McLean. <laughs> She's awesome. She has an amazing character arc. The character she was in the first episode is completely different in the last one. And this is in one season. Also, all these supporting actors that they used, I guarantee you, you've seen them in something else. But of course, Walton Goggins' character, the ghoul slash Cooper Howard, is the biggest standout. Basically, he's one of those characters that will go down in the history books. It's, it's tricky. I'm trying to straddle that line right now of not going too spoiler heavy. But basically, he's a character that starts as a human and has a family. And then the nukes go off and basically he becomes this bounty hunter and this person trying to get revenge looking for his family it's it's pretty awesome so that arc is awesome you get to see flashbacks to his life before the bombs dropped versus what he is now that that arc is awesome then you have all the stuff going down underground with the vaults and it's basically like i said severance and loss that dynamic is going on underground in the vaults where things aren't what they seem you have these characters trying to go in the other direction of the crowd and figure out exactly what's going on so cool above the surface you've got all these different factions this is kind of my point all these different plot points are so intriguing like i said it's tricky for me right now i'm trying to cater to both audiences the people who have seen it and the people who haven't but the show is awesome if you haven't watched it you have to check it out and if you have i mean what do we do next like i'm trying to play the fallout games i'm trying to rewatch. i'm trying to talk every day i'm waiting for a season two i can keep going on and on and, and list the obvious the choreography the fight scenes all this stuff but i just think the world that it creates this plot that we follow the show feels like something that we've seen before while being entirely new which is awesome because immediately you're hooked you're not worried about where the show's going but it's also something that you don't feel like you know all the answers and you're actually confused and asking questions i'll make another video with more spoilers and more in depth but i just had to put this out there right now the show is awesome i needed to talk about it and i needed to to get you guys to watch it if you haven't already i i don't know what else to say i just i loved it from from start to finish so good